What's going on guys? You're watching Ninja Lifestyle Mini Ramp Mondays. Last week we learned a new trick. We did a back disaster to a board stall. And today I want to try to learn another new trick inspired by Swell Bows. He did a, it's like a front feeble and then you come in like a rock and roll. And I don't know if that would be called a hurricane or I don't know, because when I think of hurricane, I think like, like that. So I don't know, we'll just call it a hurricane, but it's more just like a front feeble. So my game plan is to practice front grind, practice 5-0, uh, learn front feeble, because I don't front feeble too often. And then from there, if I can do front feeble, the other trick should be pretty similar, maybe. So. Let's warm up and give it a shot. I hate coming in front side. It's just really scary to me. It's easier to do this. feels weird. The difference is on a front 5-0, I can sit straight up and on this, it's like my, my heels down, which by the way, is the main thing that hurts my ankle when my heels down and my toes are up. Oh, that'll be easy. That'll be easy. Maybe I can try to pop out. Tex is pretty good at these. So anything Tex can do, I can do. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I think, uh, I don't know, that was weird. Maybe put more weight on my back foot, maybe. Ha! It's too easy. That was actually really fun. So from here, I think rather than try to pop the whole thing around, what I see a lot from uh, Swellbos or George, is he'll kind of push it back in and then get around. So hopefully we can kind of just come in. I would go to fakie, but I feel like coming in backwards would be even more scary. All right, let's go for it. Like that's the right motion. I'm gonna try to. I'm probably not gonna slide, but I'm gonna try to spin my hips as if I was going this way. Cause that should be able to get me, like, give me that move. I think that's it. I always try to break things down when I learn a new trick. Break it down into what did I do wrong there? What can I do right here? So that's, uh, I mean, it works pretty well, especially if you already have all the basics. Ah. 
only thing I'm worried about is you guys complaining, like, what if I do this? And it kind of goes into a board stall. Does that not count? I don't know. Because you might not feel it if it goes right to board stall. You might think you did it. Like right there. I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like they all do that though. There's no way that everyone who does it just goes. There's no way. Why does that feel so weird? I, I look down, dude. I'm pretty sure that just went to board stall. Let's try at least to get a clean one. For the doubters, as I like to say. Ah, there's no way that didn't count. And this one, this one's for the doubters, too. That would have been cool. Anyways, guys, uh, I kind of like learning new tricks. Uh, I've been kind of taking it easy. I don't want to try something that's too hard or uh, anything that's going to just be luck. You know, if I tried blunt kickflip, it's going to be a lot more luck than it would be breaking down the different parts of the trick. So let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Maybe. I could break down some flat bar tricks or even some flip tricks because my my foot's doing pretty good. Foot's doing pretty good, people. Here we go. For the for the downers. It's pretty good. Not great. Not great. Pretty good. So let me know if you want to see more. See you next time. Kuna Matata, bitches.